Hey guys, when you were a little kid at bedtime, did you used to be afraid of monsters under your bed? Or maybe it was the boogeyman hiding in your closet? But then as you got older, your monsters changed. And your fear became things like being afraid of being rejected, or being afraid of disappointing someone, or being afraid of being made fun of. Now, fear's not a bad thing. It's actually a normal human emotion. It's actually a good thing. It was made up in the times when we were caveman, and, and it was for your safety. I mean, if you were out collecting your berries and stuff, you needed to know to be afraid when a wild animal was chasing you, and you had to run back to your cave to avoid it. But the thing is, I'm looking out the window here, there's no wild animals out there chasing us that much anymore. But we still get worried about the what-ifs, and we still fear situations that aren't really dangerous anymore. And so I've talked with a lot of people who, who want to try things. I, I know someone who wanted to uh, change jobs, but was afraid to let her spouse know because it was going to impact their financial situation a little bit. Or someone else who wanted to move across the country, but was afraid of disappointing their parents because they would be moving away. Whether it's things like that, or you want to run a marathon, but you're afraid you won't finish. You want to start a fitness program, but you're afraid people will point out your weight issues to you. We tend to make up these what ifs. What if someone says this? Or what if someone reacts that way? And what it makes us do is to avoid the situation altogether. Here's the thing. When we start doing those what-ifs, what we're worrying about is, is failure of some sort. We're assuming the worst, and when we assume the worst, we play this video in our heads. Maybe you guys have had this happen. You play all the different ways it could go wrong, over and over, lots of different ways. And we watch ourselves fail before we've even started, and that holds us back. It makes us not try things. Whether you have invented something and you want to take it to an inventor's fair, or you've got a new idea you want to present to your boss at work, you think of those ways that it could go wrong, and then you just don't do it. And so what I want to tell you is, the next time you're thinking about trying something new or making a choice uh, uh, that's going to impact your life in a different way, it's okay to be a little bit worried and think through, you know, logically the pros and cons of how things could work out. But when you're playing that what-if game and you get held back just by fear, I want you to think about all the times that you've done something and it's turned out right. Because there's probably a whole lot more of those than those crazy what-ifs and fears you had. That's it for today, guys. Take care. I'm Jen Sabotin.